the senior Tory politician, 58, lifted the lid on what to expect from next year's Commonwealth Games in Birmingham. The celebration of world sport follows this year's Olympic Games in Tokyo, which were postponed from last year amid the threat of COVID-19 in Japan. Although organizers vowed to not cancel the sporting spectacle, at the last moment they announced that all events would be held behind closed doors due to a dangerous surge of the virus in Tokyo. Unlike Tokyo, hundreds of thousands of spectators and visitors will be welcomed to Birmingham for the 2022 Commonwealth Games. Andy Street, who is a former John Lewis managing director, told Express.co.uk that he believes the Queen will be among those visiting the West Midlands. The monarch is head of the Commonwealth, a role she inherited from her father, King George VI, when she acceded him to the throne. Mr. Street said, It's her decision not mine, but our expectation is that she will be here, I'm sure she will, she's proud of the Commonwealth, I'm sure she will be here. It goes beyond her now, that has to be the case, but I also think she is in a sense the embodiment of that common connection, that common bond, that common standard. So it will be an absolute privilege to have her here for the launch of the Commonwealth Games. An estimated 4,500 athletes from 72 countries will compete across 283 medal events at the Commonwealth Games from July 28 to August 8. One element of the Games the Queen will be involved in is the official baton relay a long-standing tradition. The Queen will place her message to the Commonwealth in the baton at a ceremony at Buckingham Palace, which is reportedly penciled in for October. The baton will then set off on a global journey across all 72 participating nations and territories. Mr. Street said he felt sure that other royals would also be in Birmingham for the Games. He added, they obviously are thinking about the history that the Queen embodies but also the future of other members of the royal family. So, I'm sure the royal family will give it their very full support, as will the government. The government are putting a very large sum of money into supporting the West Midlands with this endeavour and that is a real sign of their confidence of the story. The story of regeneration, the story also of harmony, there's a very important point here that Birmingham and the West Midlands is the most diverse place. So many of the communities here have their roots in Commonwealth countries and what this place will be demonstrating is that everyone can thrive together. That really will be in the spirit of the Commonwealth something worth celebrating. This is the celebration of that togetherness, that harmony, that shared history.